What's going on, Brew Crew? I'm your brew captain, and today I'm gonna show you how to vortex a beer. Let's get this started. What's going on, Brew Crew? Happy 2022. If it's your first time here, I'm the Brew Captain. And I'm the number one search term on YouTube for how to chug a beer. Now, I filmed my how to chug a beer video when I first started my YouTube channel. I really had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea how to edit. And honestly, I wasn't as good as chugging as I am now. And throughout the months that I've had my YouTube channel, and I've met all y'all, we've had a lot of comments, a lot of suggestions, and a lot of fun. But one of the biggest requests I've had is how do you vortex a beer? Now, for those of y'all who don't know, vortexing a beer is when you take a bottle of beer. It could be a bottle of soda, a bottle of water, a bottle of something. And when you spin it, it creates a vortex or a tornado inside the bottle causing the liquid to shoot out a lot faster you might have done this in a third grade science class with a two liter bottle with some food coloring inside i'm going to teach you how and the mechanics of how to vortex a bottle in this video so the first thing i'm going to do is show you what the vortex looks like going into a bowl so you can see what it looks like coming out of the bottle before i do it to drink when you're drinking it, the first thing you wanna do is empty just a little bit out of it, right to where it's at the neck of the bottle. Right about there. When I spin this upside down, it's naturally gonna pour out. But as soon as the liquid completely covers the mouth of the bottle, it's gonna stop flowing, it's gonna create a bubble, and it's gonna explode back through the bubble, causing it to kind of dump out in a weird way. When I spin the bottle, you're going to see what it does. This is probably going to cause a mess. We'll set down a towel. All right, so I'm going to dump it and I'm going to spin it really, really quick. Just like that. Let's go ahead and put that on replay in slow motion so you can see what's happening. Really, really. All right, so I'm going to dump it and I'm going to spin it really, really Just like that. Now don't worry, this will not go to waste. I have this nice little straw here where I can finish it off later. So when we're doing it from the bottle and we're doing the same thing into our throat, a couple things are going to apply. Number one, breathing technique. Just like all my how to chug videos, breathing is the most important part of a chug. You have to breathe in, breathe out. Once you've let the air out of your lungs, you're gonna allow more room in your stomach to be able to let that liquid in. Step number two, make sure you get rid of the liquid in the neck. You have to bring it down to right at the base of the neck in order for this to work. Oh. Step three, the spin. 
When you have the bottle, once you've drunk it down past the neck, you gotta flick the wrist. I've tried all sorts of ways where you pull back up here and then you spin. You can't do it. You gotta spin as you're going up. So it's gonna look something like this. Now, you're gonna look like an idiot when you first do the part. Cause no girl at a party has ever been impressed or no guy that you're trying to make friends with has ever been impressed by somebody doing this. But if you successfully torpedo the beer, one, you get the job done pretty quick. And two, it does look kind of cool. So it's gonna look something like this. Now, you want to try not to get it uh, all over your beard, but hey, it's effective either way. We're going to do it one more time just to show you a little cleaner version of it. This time, we have Porter the Brew Dog support. Right, Porter? Thanks, buddy. All right. <laughs> there you go uh, practice makes perfect but as always drink responsibly don't drink and drive and stay savvy brew crew Check out the next video and go ahead and subscribe because, you know, you love me.